Hi, it's Chester Tugmer from Blue Pecan Computer Training. Today we're going to look at creating a macro that will protect all of the worksheets in our workbook. So rather than having to individually go through each sheet and use this protect sheet button, uh, we're just going to have one button up on our quick access toolbar that will protect and then unprotect. Uh, there will be another button that will unprotect um, all of the worksheets. So a bit of a time saver. Now we're going to have to create a macro for this and we're going to have to write a little bit of code but it is in fact quite simple to do. Now if you're uh, using macros, editing macros or wishing to assign macros to buttons and things like that, it's a good idea to have the developer tab on your uh, ribbon that may not be currently visible. So to do that what we do is right click on one of the existing tabs, choose customize the ribbon, select developer in the list there and then click on OK. That just comes up here. Now what we're going to do is we need to go into our visual basic editor. So you can either click on this button or use Alt F11. You can see the shortcut key there so I'll just click on it there. So that opens up our visual basic editor. Now, what we want is we want this macro to be available for all workbooks. We don't want it to be available just to a particular workbook. It's quite a useful macro, useful button to have generally when we're working in Excel. Now, in order to make it available to all workbooks, you need to save it in what's called the personal macro workbook. And that is this one here. I can see my project uh, explorer. Here I've got the personal macro workbook. Now that should appear for you in that uh, project window. If it doesn't, um, it means it's never been created. And in order to create it, what you're going to have to do is do a really simple recorded macro back in Excel. So that would be just a matter of going in here and recording a macro and making sure that you save it in the personal macro workbook. So the macro could just be you know, a few clicks and typing something into a cell. Just save it and then you'll see that when you come back to your Visual Basic Editor, this personal macro workbook will be there for you. Now I've already got a module. A module is like a place that you can save macros. I've got one module here. If you haven't got a module there or you want to create another one for these macros, it's just a matter of right clicking, going to insert module. So I'm going to go over to my code window over here and we're going to create the macro to protect the sheets. So what I'm going to do is name my macro, so sub, sub procedure, and I'm going to call this protect sheets. Okay, press enter, and there we are. So first of all, what I've got to do is create a variable, which is like a container uh, that will contain the information for our passwords and stuff like that uh, for our um, our worksheet. So you can call your uh, variable whatever you like really I'm just going to call mine worksheet um, and I need to say sorry I need to say dim dimension uh, worksheets um, and the type of variable it is well it is a worksheet my variable is a worksheet so there we are presenter okay so there's my variable W sheet worksheet. Now what I'm going to do is use a type of looping that will loop through a collection of objects, objects in a collection rather. So we've got a, um, a collection of worksheets in our workbook. Okay, so I'm going to say for each W sheet, that's our worksheet, in the active workbook, Worksheets. Okay. So for each of those worksheets, now this is where I use my uh, variable again. So worksheet dot protect. Just double click it there. In fact, now this is where I need to put in my password. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say password, but obviously you'd put in something else. Something is probably a little less easier to hack. 
and then I just want to say well do that for each of the worksheets uh, in the workbook so what it's going to do is just loop through and do it, uh, do that uh, protect each worksheet within the workbook and apply that password to it now um, to create the uh, macro that will unprotect the worksheets it's very very similar in fact what I'm going to do is pretty much copy this um, I'm going to rename this unprotect worksheets so I'm going to keep the same variable for each worksheet in active worksheet uh, workbook worksheets so I then want to unprotect obviously I've got to use that password to do that um, and that really is the only difference between the two macros um, I renamed it and I put unprotect rather than protect um, and that will do it so what I'm going to do is just close this down for the meantime but what would be nice if I could assign those macros to uh, the quick access toolbar so I'm going to go up here to my quick access toolbar and I'm going to customize it so click on that little customize button at the end more commands so choose commands from macros here are my two macros I'm going to add them both to my quick access toolbar I can even modify them with some different faces so maybe I'll have that as protect and maybe what will I have as unprotect don't really know oh a smiley face unprotect so those buttons now appear on my quick access toolbar let's see if they work so if I click on this button and now I try to type in I cannot edit any of this data it's all protected if I click on this button I can now edit my data on any of the sheets that does appear to have worked okay so we've applied the uh, two macros to our quick access tool but let's see what happens when we close things down because we haven't actually saved uh, the worksheet or the workbook or anything like that well, I'm going to close this down I'm not going to save changes to the workbook as such but you'll notice that when I close down Excel it asks me whether I want to save changes to the personal macro workbook so at this stage you need to say yes or save rather otherwise that macro will not be saved in that location.